So you've decided that you need compost for your vegetable garden or for your lawn or for your trees, but you're not sure exactly how much? Then this episode's for you, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, Alan Schaefer at Custom Garden Solutions. In today's exciting episode, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be going from one of our outdoor gardens into the office. We're gonna to go to the customgardensolutions.com website and I'm gonna talk about the compost calculator which is gonna help you determine how much compost you need for your vegetable garden, for your lawn, or for your trees, or whatever you're using your compost for, I don't know. So next time you see me, I'm gonna be in a little box in the corner of the screen as we review the compost calculator with you, and we'll also share some tips and tricks and things to know when you order your compost. So let's get inside, see you in a minute. Hey, well, I'm back in the office, and the first thing we're going to do to get to the compost calculator is go to customgardensolutions.com. Customgardensolutions.com. And once you get there, there's three ways to get to the compost calculator. The first way is if you just scroll down behind the banner here, is it says click here, compost calculator, determine how much compost I need. So you click there and voila, there's the compost calculator. Second way you can get there is go to compost delivery and just scroll down below all the information about compost delivery. Actually, there's a great um, episode we did a couple weeks ago on how we make your compost. You can check that out. And we talk all about the different Compost, mushroom compost, there it is. So calculate your compost requirements. Right here is the compost calculator. The third way is just to go to the compost calculator section that we set up just to do this episode. The second section may not be here in a couple weeks, but if you just click on that, it'll bring you right to the compost calculator. So before we get started on the compost calculations, Take a look at this note here. I know a lot of people probably just run out and unfortunately they get bagged compost from a big box store and they don't get the results uh, that they probably could be getting with getting some good organic compost delivered to them. And a local big box store is now selling a uh, manure compost at $1.97 for a 0.75 cubic foot bag and if you take 36 bags of that which would make up a, a, a cubic yard times $1.97 each it equals $70.92 $70.92 is almost twice as much that we charge for a yard of compost and in my opinion, the compost is going to be much better when we deliver it than when you get it out of a bag. And there's a couple issues with bags that I have. I mean, for the most part, when you look at the bag, you really can't tell where the compost came from. You know, were the animals fed GMOs, like uh, GMO corn? Were they, you know, shot up with a bunch of antibiotics? And, and then you put that compost into your soil, and then you take your food out of that soil, and you, then you put that food in your body. So are you getting GMOs and antibiotics that maybe aren't so healthy for you? The second thing is, and I'm not sure if this is a word, but I'm gonna use it anyway, plasticization, plasticization. So, you know, these, these uh, big box stores are putting the compost that they sell you into bags, and who knows how long they sit in those bags, but it's likely that the plastic leaches into the bags and then you put that in your garden, again, into your food, and then you eat the food. So plasticization is another issue. Uh, the, th the third issue is, it really has to do with the quality of the compost you're getting. You know, good compost uh, requires oxygen, your organic matter, the bacteria, the fungi, the things that are, make compost, good compost, require oxygen. And if they're sealed up in a plastic bag, 
they're not getting that oxygen. So you're basically kind of buying dead soil or soil that's lost some of the thriving organic matter, bacteria, and fungi that make a good compost. You know, how long has it been sitting around is the other question. Has it been frozen? Has it been subject to extreme heat? In a lot of cases, I think so. So enough about bagged versus delivered compost. Let's get into the compost calculator. So we're just going to do a couple quick calculations. Should take a minute or so. First thing we'll do is draw a rectangle. The length and widths are always going to be in feet, and the depth is going to be in inches. All right. So if we do a typical eight foot by four foot raised bed, let's say it's going to be 20 inches. Which is a nice size. That's 1.984 cubic yards. So round it up. It's about two cubic yards. Let's make that a 4 by 8 and uh, 24 inches. And if you just press enter, or if you press the little cubic yards button there, that's going to be 2.38 cubic yards. So that would be for a square 8 by 4, 24 inch high raised bed. Let's do a circular area. Don't run into these much, but um, if the diameter is 8 feet, and the depth is 20 inches, that's going to be 3.11 cubic yards. And if we change that to uh, 24 inches, it'll go up slightly. Just press enter or this cubic yard button to get your total. It's going to be 3.73 cubic yards. So that's how you calculate your compost requirements. All right, well, now we've used a compost calculator to determine your compost requirements. But before you go and order your compost delivery, there's a couple other things you need to think about before you do so. And I'm going to go outside and we're going to talk about those here in a minute. And one thing to consider once you've already done the compost calculator calculations, <laughs> say that three times fast, is that the compost is very loose and loamy and light and, uh, and fluffy. <laughs> and uh, it's probably going to compress or settle about 20%. So make sure you build that into your calculation. Another thing to consider if you're getting compost for your vegetable garden or your trees or your lawn, but you might not be using it right away, is that you might want to lightly water it to keep that organic matter and that bacteria and all the good stuff in the compost living so that it's healthy when you put it in your garden. And if you get your compost right away, but you can't get it to the final location in your garden or near your trees or on your lawn, then you might want to tarp it, especially if you're anticipating rain. The compost comes to you and it's very loose and loamy and fluffy and easy to work with and easy to spread, especially in a garden. But if it gets rain, especially significant rain, it becomes kind of muddy and it isn't as easy to transport to your garden or wherever you might be putting it and it makes it a lot harder to spread and level. So use a tarp if you're expecting rain. If you're getting compost from Custom Garden Solutions, we can provide you a tarp. All you need to do is ask, and we'll tarp it up when we deliver it, and that way you don't have to worry about those things. So most compost delivery services deliver by the yard, and that's what we do at Custom Garden Solutions. And it doesn't hurt to get a little bit extra some people will put it in a uh, empty garbage can or they'll have a pile of it and they'll tarp it or they'll put it in an area in their garden if they've got some extra room. In the middle of the season, after you've been growing a while, you can put a little bit of compost near the base of a plant, let's say before it rains or, or you could water it in. And when it rains, the fresh compost acts almost like a fertilizer and gives your plants a nice jolt. You also could use it for containers or filling holes in your yard or other things that you might need compost for around the house. When you're ordering compost and you want a Saturday or Sunday delivery, you might want to call ahead. Most other days it's fairly easy to get compost delivered, but Saturday and Sundays are when everybody prefers it and sometimes people miss out by waiting too long. And if you're in the Chicagoland area or in the Phoenix area and you need compost, don't be afraid to pick up the phone and give us a call and ask us any questions. You might even get to talk to me. If you want to learn more about compost, check out the episode, How We Make Our Compost. And I'll put a link to it in the description down below. And there should be a little link to it up above there. Check that out. And it talks all about how we make our compost, what goes into it, 
how it's made, what to expect, how it should smell, how it should look. So check that out. I'm Alan Schaefer at Custom Garden Solutions. Our channel is all about helping you grow herbs and vegetables so that you can live a healthier and happier life. If you're new to the channel and you want to learn all about growing herbs and vegetables and all kinds of cool garden stuff, start today by subscribing. Hit the subscribe button down there. You can always unsubscribe by hitting the button again. All right? And then you might want to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything because you never know where I'm going to show up next. And now, everybody's favorite, the pepper. And I'll get out of the way. Boop, 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 boop.